Let's talk about the gradient now. Now the gradient is so important. You really need to get this. Like it's so 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 important. So your gradient is y two minus y one over x two minus x one. Sometimes written as delta y over delta x, meaning the change in y over change in x. All right. So if you've got two points on a function, you got the second point y minus the second point or minus the first point y over the second point x minus the first point x you'll find a gradient. The gradient is the step sort of structure that looks like this between points. Let's do an example. So you've got half x minus 3. Your gradient already is told. It's a half. Let's do your intercepts. You've got your intercepts here where your y is equal to, so you're doing your x-intercept which means your y is equal to 0. Plug it in. This would actually be to calculate your x-intercept. So this should actually say f of x. Right, so let's continue. You've got 0 is equal to a half x minus 3. You take your minus 3 across, you get 3. You then times both sides by 2 to get rid of this half. So that 2 times a half is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. You're left with 6 is equal to x. You found your intercept. For x. Now if you ever get confused, if you've got three bananas, how many halves do you have? You've got six halves. So if you had to divide three by a half, you'd still get six. Let's do step two. You say x is equal to zero. We plug it in. So we say half times zero is um, oh, minus three. The answer would be y is equal to three. So when x is 0, y is equal to minus 3. Let's have a look at the, what we've written here. So this says, when the function p has an x value equal to 0, you write p0. Then you substitute 0 in where you see an x. You then get this answer, y is equal to 0 minus 3, and your coordinates, which are 0 and minus 3. Let's do step 3, the gradient. So that, that gradient is m is equal to y, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You've got two points. You've got 6 naught and naught minus 3. You sub in your minus 3 first, then your 0 second. You then do your 0 and your, then your 6, making sure that your signs are negative in between unless there is a positive so making sure that there's a it would become positive if you had a negative sign up here like for instance this if this was over here if you had if you had a minus and a minus you multiply them together you get a plus all right so with that said, you now have minus 3 over minus 6, giving you 3 over 6 because the, ne the, the negative signs cancel each other out like that. You're then left with 1 over 2. That is your gradient. Now let's plot. So your first point would be 0 minus 3, and your second point would be 6, 0 over here. You plot the function, and it looks like this. 